Hey, Dr. Sir from Vegas Pro Insiders Daily, and today is the 11th of June as we get ready to start another week of videos, free plays, just for you. That's right. We got some more free plays for you today. In fact, we have a big selection of them. We got six all together for you today, so we are locked and loaded. We're going to talk about three of them in particular, and the rest are going to be available at VegasProInsiderDaily.com. Also there, you can also read, I wrote an article about uh, super systems that are available uh, this time of year. So you can go to the website and check that article out too. It's about in-season systems that are, just say, relatable. And I explained it all uh, during the summer months. And those are things that you can do if you follow certain parameters that you can make yourself some extra money. Hey, speaking of making money, last week on our free play, last weekend for our free plays, we went four and three, so made a little bit of cash on that one. And yours truly continues to roll on baseball. 19 and 7 of late. Just killing it. Okay. And uh, long term, uh, I believe, I want to say 173 and 140 on all picks. And uh, that's good for, I think, $15,000 of profit for, for 1K betters. So doing well, continuing to roll in baseball. And you can become part of the action by becoming a VPID Inner Circle member. You, uh, you can check out that, see what that is all about. At the website, you can have your choices of what program that's going to fit you best. And if you're not certain as to what you want to do, you're just a little bit skittish about it. How about $7 for seven days to check it out? That's a deal that's hard to pass up because right? you're going to get quality information that you can count on to help make your selections better and stronger. And it's just not about my picks or some other picks. It's about providing information that helps you win on the bets that you make because I know you are making other bets. I do. I, I just do because I know you are because everybody does. All right. So here we go. Let's talk some free pick baseball. Cincinnati, Cleveland. It's the annual battle for the Ohio Cup. Yeah, they have a trophy now for this. I didn't I didn't even realize that uh, un, until I started doing this. I just thought it was the Battle of Ohio. But I guess uh, you got to have a trophy, right? Especially if you're in the Midwestern part of the country. That seems to be part of the, part of the deal. Now, we're going to start in the northern part of the state with this one. And Cleveland has gone from a pick to minus 125 against the Red. Now, the Indians are going to start Trevor Bauer, who is on a career-worst losing streak of five. Hasn't been effective, a lot of, still striking out a ton of guys, not giving up a lot of hits, but giving up too many runs and a lot of home runs. So his pitches are hanging, or in this case, he's leaving too many pitches that are hanging. Uh, but Cleveland's coming into this one playing well. Uh, you know, the, the Indians have had trouble scoring, but last week they did quite well, and they knocked off at home Minnesota and the Yankees. So they have been very strong of late, so they look good. Cincinnati's going to counter with Luis Castillo, who is having a phenomenal season. I really like how this guy's throwing the ball, able to spot his pitches inside and out, keeping the ball down, and two on a one and two count, boom, he's got the high fastball strike, gets ties, ties guys up, been extremely effective for the Reds. I'd like to back Cincinnati here, to be perfectly honest, um, but they are 6-22 and 22 after allowing four or less runs um, after, yeah, after allowing four less runs in four straight games and in their last seven contests, they are a grisly, uh, I should say, they have a grisly scoring average of 2.1 runs per game. I got to go Cincinnati on this one here. Next up, Houston is going to be hosting the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, some may forget these two, uh, not that many years ago, used to be division partners. Then the Houston went to the American League, so that split up. But they're just had open up a two-game series here, and uh, they are division leaders. So the the uh, anticipation of the series, anyways, is, is quite good, even though it's going to be just two games. Um, Houston opened up at minus 145 and fell to minus 120. Um, a little bit perplexing um, just on the surface of it. Freddie Peralta has not pitched all that well, even though he pitched better in his last outing for the Brewers. And Brad Peacock has been <coughs> excuse me, excellent all year long for the, um, for Houston. So that's a little, I don't know, that, that, that throws me off a little bit. And maybe the line is a little bit too high. I'm not going to disagree with that at 145. Maybe 135-ish uh, might have been a, a better number. Just, but in looking at the team's, 
in looking at some of the other numbers, you got Houston, who's 24 and nine at home in the juice box. Uh, so that's pretty good. But the Brewers are 26 and nine against a starting pitcher who gives up less than a home, less than a half a home run a game. So that's now you start to see why the line maybe is balancing out a little bit. However, I'm still going to go with. Uh, Peacock and the Astros because that combo is 15 and 3 when the line is minus 100 up and up to minus 150. I think that's going to be the better way to go, taking Houston. Now, the total on this one has dipped from 9 to 8.5, and, and we have conflicting information on this one. Brewers, 9 and 0 under in road games after four more consecutive uh, wins. Astro, or excuse me, Peralta also of the Brewers, 11-3 over when the total is 8.5 to 10. Myself, I think there's going to be some runs scored here. I'm going to go over on the total. So I got Houston, and I got over as play. So this is Doug Epson for Vegas Pro Insider Daily. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, sign up for the email list. Join the Twitter. Uh, that's at Vegas Pro Insider. Check, go, uh, check that out as well. I'll be, as I said, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll have more free picks for you. Good luck today, and we'll see what we can do. This is Doug Elfsman for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. I'm out.